Body Language Tommy Shelby and Alfie Solomon from Peaky Blinders Two top dogs, high status individuals with a lot of power Tommy, I'm going to fucking shoot you Alfie, it's Tommy fucking Shelby Intense negotiations, there is a lot of valuable lessons to be obtained from this scene This video was requested by our dear friend in the comment section Let's get started with the breakdown I order of the Peaky Blinders next 10 minutes you don't do or say anything I haven't told you, alright? Just you, yeah? He stays out here. You stay here. Observe his walk, exuding extreme confidence. He gets down and ties his laces. Let's skip ahead to the scene when he sits down. That will probably be for you, won't it? Alfie Solomon is with his feet on his desk, which is a territorial display. People show ownership by connecting their body to an item. In this case, a desk. You'll often see high status people do this in combination with their hands behind their heads. Like this. This is a power pose portraying extreme confidence and a know-it-all attitude. If I sat like this and talked to you, most likely you would click the video off instantly. It evokes negative emotion. It shows the other person that they are inferior to them. Unless you are making a point, it is generally better to avoid this pose. But you should learn how to counter it when someone else uses it against you. That will probably be for you. Right? Alfie points at the phone, but doesn't look him in the eyes. He feigns indifference and subconsciously let him know that he is in control and second, he has to earn his attention. This is very powerful in seduction as well. That will probably be for you, won't it? This is another high power pose. Note the non-reactiveness of Tommy. Very slow and controlled movements. This is a characteristic of high status individuals, man and woman. It shows mastery over oneself, over one's own instincts. And you can train to acquire this. I also want you to know something about when I mention the word trait or a characteristic in the future. Trust me, it is a very empowering message, boosting your confidence if you decide to act on it. It is an exercise you can instantly use straight after this video to train your own non-reactiveness. So that'll be your side of the street swept up, won't it? Where's mine? Note, it's been 28 seconds they've been in the same room. After hearing that Alfie came through on his part of the deal, Alfie pulls his feet off the desk and for the first time looks and acknowledges Tommy's presence with his eye contact. Because now the beneficial part of the deal for Alfie Solomons is here. Friends, these are very subtle behaviors we register subconsciously. High status people tend to give less eye contact when they are talked to and more when they are talking. They make you work for their attention. What you got for me? Tommy breaks eye contact sideways. Breaking eye contact, looking down, would come over as submissive. Signed by the Minister of the Empire himself. Yeah. yeah. Tommy comes through on his part. This means that you can put your room in our shipments, and now when a popular docks, we'll lift the canvas. You know what? I'm not ever going to have my lawyer look at that. No, no, it's all legal. You know what? Look at Ollie here. Great cluster of very nervous behavior to be spotted. Try to spot it. There are three things here. Breaking eye contact, looking down, moving a lot, and of course, the harsh swallow, which is a very accurate indicator of distress. You produce less saliva once the fight or flight system has kicked in. Ergo, swallowing becomes harder. You know what? I'm not ever going to have my lawyer look at that. No, no, it's all legal. You know what? Mate, I trust you. That's that. 
that. This behavior comes from medieval times when men would doff their head as a form of greeting. This evolved into just dipping the head and touching the head. He greets the disgust man at goodbye and doesn't want to talk about that anymore. That's that. Done. So, whiskey. There is uh, one thing though, however, that we do need to discuss. Now Tommy is the one who doesn't give him much attention with his eyes. What would that be? He says here, 20% paid to me of your export business. Pacifying or self-suiting behavior here. I use those terms interchangeably by the way, but mean the same thing. He's unsure of the percentage. This form of mouth touching indicates an inner need for reassurance. This is an unconscious attempt by the person to revert back to the security of the child sucking on his mother's breast. An extension of this is people nibbling on pants. For example, when taking an exam. A little tip, if you see this in your friends, reassure them. That boosts their confidence regarding the matter at hand. As we agreed on the telephone. No, 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 no. no. See, I've had my lawyer <coughs> draw this up for us just in case. You know, <coughs> it says... When two equals sit on either side of the table, half of the space is for one person and the other half is for the other. Look at he went from here to here. Before, after. He invades Tommy's personal space as a way to intimidate him. It says that... Tommy looks disinterested and away. People tend to block their eyes or turn away completely when they don't like what they see. He finds the situation distasteful and is not giving him the attention. They had a deal and now Alfie wants to change it. What Tommy's behavior also does is making Alfie seem like a tryhard. Making Alfie work for his attention. Alfie being the one who moves the most. It says that here, here that a hundred percent of your business goes to me. I see. It's there. Right. Unaffected vocal tonality. I see. It's there. Right. Don't worry about it, right? Because it's totally legal binding. All you have to do is sign the document and transfer the whole lot over to me. So I'm just here, is it? Yeah. The subtleness in here is a skill you must learn to master. Especially when the other person is using it as a test. Women often test men conscious or subconsciously. There is a terrific way to react that you must learn. It's also a great way to banter. I'll cover that more in depth in a scene with a woman. In short, he plays along. So I'm just here, is it? Yeah. I see. Lip licking. In this context has two most likely causes. First, his lip could be dry because of the smoking. However, if that was the case, he would have portrayed that earlier as well. Which leaves us with the second, concerns, anxiety and or distress. I see. That's funny. That is. What? Nah, that's funny. I'll give you 100% of my business. The two men disagree. The tension is palpable in the room. Ollie is getting very nervous. Harsh swallow. Playing with his tongue, trying to vent some energy. This is a very disrespectful facial expression called sneering. Sneering, much like eye rolling, signifies dislike, contempt, arrogance, disapproval, disrespect, disgust, or displeasure. What? Nah, that's funny. I'll give you 100% of my business. Cheeky smirk here. This is a facial expression of contempt. Contempt is characterized by a feeling of superiority over another. This could be because they know something someone else doesn't or flat out feels the other person is worthless and deserving of disdain and disrespect. But why would he show this? Alfie is now changing the terms of their deal now that everything is taken care of. That might explain the contempt here. Yeah. Again, very slow. Not impressed by Ollie and the gun. That look says, really? You? You are going to use that? Sure, brother. Uh, Ollie, no, 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 no. 
that down. He understands. He understands. He's a big boy. He knows the road. Then he turns and looks away. Hands in the pocket. Highly inconsistent behavior with someone who actually wants to kill you. He's a big boy. He knows the road. Notice here, his fingers are fairly spread out. Another territorial display and sign of high confidence. Now look, it's just non-fucking negotiable. That's all you need to know. So all you have to do is sign a fucking contract. Right there. Just sign it. Tommy diffuses the situation again by playing along. Do is sign a fucking contract. Right there. Just sign it. With your pen. I understand. Good. Get on with it. Well, I have an associate waiting for me at the door. Tommy changes the subjects, showing that he is in control of the interaction. Get on with it. Well, I have an associate waiting for me at the door. I know he looks like a quiet boy. But... Now look at this extremely dominant body language, making himself as large as he can while sitting down. This is another high power pose. By the way, Amy Cuddy did some research and showed that people who take on these power poses, their testosterone increases as a result. I'm not going to dive too deeply, but here's a pro tip. If you're nervous or anxious for, let's say, an interview or before taking a test, stand for two minutes like this, and your testosterone will increase madly. I know he looks like a quad. Showing more of his wrist hair. This can be interpreted as a submissive gesture especially combining this with a smile and non-threatening look. Tommy knows that Alfie believes he has all the power here. Until Tommy makes clear that he is in charge, he must not rub him the wrong way. It could get him shot on the spot. What I would have done different if I wanted to portray power is not showing the palm, but the back of the hand more. Exposing your palm, however, has positive utility. It shows that you aren't hiding anything are friendly and as a result you'll come off more trustworthy. This most likely comes from ancient times, where our ancestor used to hide weapons right over here. Hence later on this lower arm grasp became the Romans original method of greeting. Here is a fun exercise to direct your attention to. Observe the smoking difference between men and women. Heterosexual women tend to smoke more like this while heterosexual men tend to smoke more like this. Exposing versus hiding. Feminine versus masculine. Give it a go. A boy, but he is actually an anarchist from Ken This fidgeting is a sign of frustration and impatience here. The same kind Arthur and Billy Kimber showed in the previous video. From Kentish Town. Tommy, I'm going to fucking shoot you, right? Lip licking. In this context, concerns, anxiety and or distress, he knows that he is starting to agitate Alfie now. So he needs to get to the point. I'm going to fucking shoot you, right? Now, when I came in here, Mr. Solomons, I stopped. Here's the palm downward movement. Authoritative and powerful people tend to talk like this a lot. To tell my shoelace. It's not a fact, Molly. I stopped to tell my shoelace. <coughs> And while I was doing it, I laid a hand grenade on one of your barrels. Tommy, as a strategic thinker, was prepared if Alfie didn't keep his end of the deal. Now you see the perceptual power dynamic shift from Alfie to Tommy. Tommy flat out threatens him. Note the clenched hands of Alfie right in front of his face. This one is important guys, you see this in a multitude of forms. See there is a correlation between the height at which the hands are held and the degree of a person's frustration. The higher, the more frustration. I showed Trump in the previous video. Hands are very low here. But look at Alfie's hands. He has them all the way up right in front of his face. Amongst this frustration, he's also pacifying himself by moving his hands together like this. Mark 15 with wire trip and my friend upstairs Ollie is getting concerned now. We see him doing what Mike did to Harvey. Looking to the superior, the leader to take control of the situation. Mark 15 with wire trip. And my friend upstairs, well he's like one of those anarchists that uh, they blew up Wall Street, you know. But he's a professional and he's in charge of the wire. This beard stroking serves the same pacifying purpose as we saw before. He is in need of reassurance here. 
By the way, this one is not easily distinguishable from an evaluation gesture. If I don't walk out that door with a stroke of seven, he's gonna trigger the grenade and your very combustible rum will blow us all to hell. And I don't care. Because I'm already dead. Locked eye contact. Alfie wants to make sure that Tommy isn't bluffing and hyper focuses on him. In fact, the guy that Tommy brought with him in the beginning of the scene is a random stud from the streets who was just ordered to stay outside and that's it. Tommy is bluffing like a pro here. He sells off this bluff with multiple factors to Alfie. First, he has someone that Alfie trusts witness it and combine this with his calm demeanor. Add to all of this a false time constraint. If I don't walk out that door with a stroke of seven, he's gonna trigger the grenade. Perfection. This false time constraint is highly effective in seduction as well. When you meet a man or woman that you are interested in and tell them you only have five minutes, it drives your value up instantly. They will feel pressured to prove to you that their presence is worthy of your time. He tied his legs, Alfie, and there is a kid at the door. From a good family too. Pointing to Ollie, Ollie is on the verge of panicking. Tommy is adding gasoline to his burning emotion, hoping it will lead to an explosion. From a good family too. Ollie, it's shocking what I become. What were you doing when you sat there? Note this very subtle movement. Rolling his sleeves up. This has multiple meanings, such as ready to get down to business, or a readiness to work, but in this specific context, rolling up the sleeve is signaling aggression, and Ali should have read this as a sign of, I better back the hell off. Hey, where is that? Oh, he tied his lace, nothing else. Yeah, but what were you doing? I was marking the runners in the paper. You see how submissively he breaks eye contact every second. Friends, try to avoid this at all costs. In the paper. This fidgeting here is pure aggression. Just check the time. Carry on. Now Tommy adds even more fuel to the fire. Smiling, which is inherently submissive, but look at his body language. Pure dominance. A territorial display just like the lion footage I showed in a previous video. Well, I want you to go outside yeah, and shoot that boy in the face from the good family. Like anyone walks through that door except me. He blows the grenade. He tied his fucking lace on it to my lace. See his arm here, now he is the one claiming territory over Alfie's desk. Complete shift in power and dominance. He tied it to my lace. I bet. 100 to 1. Alfie is leaning in more and more. You fucking lying, mate. That's my money. I say you failed to consider the form. I did blow up my own pub. For the insurance. Okay, right, well, considering the form. He notices Ollie is about to lose it. Form. I would say 65 to 1. Very good odds. And I would be more than happy and agree if you decide over 65% of your business to me. Thank you. 65. No deal. So it went from non-fucking negotiable to all right, I'll consider 65-35. Alfie is a businessman and one rule of business is assume the sale. Exactly what he does here. If you decide over 65% of your business to me, thank you. 65, no deal. Ollie, what do you say? Jesus Christ, Alfie, he tied his fucking lace, I saw him. Mm. Look, he planted a grenade, I know he did. No deal. Turns to Ollie, was on the verge of breaking. Observe this extremely submissive body language. Hunched shoulders, hands in the pockets, distress all over his face. Poor boy. Alfie isn't stupid and sees how he uses Ollie against him. Look what happens next. Grenade, I know he did. Alfie, it's Tommy fucking Shelby. <laughs> this smack should not have come as a surprise after the rolling up of his sleeve before. Alfie, it's Tommy fucking Shelby. <laughs> behaving like a fucking child. This is a man's world. 
take their apron off. Half his body language screams high status. He's wide, arms spread apart, shoulders rolled down, locked eye contact. Compare that to Ali. Sheepish look, like a deer in a headlight, completely vulnerable. I sit in the corner like a little boy. Fuck off. Now. Four minutes. Right, four minutes. <gasps> Talk to me about hand grenades. Now Alfie is testing him again. The chalk mark on the barrel, the knee height. It's a Hamilton Christmas. Took out the pin and put it on the wire. As calm and as controlled Tommy is, here's a little body language leakage. He isn't sure whether Alfie is buying his bluff and therefore is self-soothing through fidgeting here. Based on this, Quick message friends, I want to thank you for the comments, likes and subscribes. We already are a family of 400 people right now and it is growing. The growth of last month was unparalleled. Thank you for that. For those who are deliberating on whether to subscribe or not, the goal of this channel is to give you the tools and strategies that you can implement in your life so you can achieve your desired goals and dreams. Also, very important. At the end of this video, you'll get an exercise to increase your non-reactivity and I want your advice on something which will determine the course of this channel. Forty-five percent. Thirty. Oh, fuck off, Toby. That's far too little. After telling that story, he goes to forty percent. So Tommy goes into telling another. Percent. Thirty. Oh, fuck off, Toby. That's far too little. France, Mr. Solomon, so I was Alfie leaning back, showing that 30% is too little. Well, I was a tunneler, a clay kicker, 179. I blew up Schwaber now. Same kit I'm using today. It's funny that. Clenched fist and leans back in. I do know the 179. And I heard they all got buried. Three of us dug ourselves out. How are you digging yourself out now? There it is, contempt. Like I'm digging now. Listen, I'll give you 35%. That's your lot. 35. This form of touching is a sign of dominance, insinuating ownership over someone else. Compare the difference between these two. This guy huddled up. Think of someone having their heart ripped apart and taking a shower. By closing our torso and ergo protecting our heart among other vital organs, this feels extremely comfortable when you're in a prey state of mind. Friends, like I've said before, context is key. If it's cold outside, you most likely close your body off to preserve heat. Let's look at Tommy now. Wide open. Claiming space and also dominance over this boy as well. Friends, I promise you an exercise to develop this high status trait of non-reactiveness. When there is a stimulus, movement for example, your natural instinct is to look at it. It could be a dangerous animal moving through the bushes. This is called the oriental reflex. It served a very definite and important role for our species evolution. Stimulus, reaction. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom, said Viktor Frankl. Now you can train yourself like high status people to increase your response time. So stimulus comes in, you note it and turn to it at your own pace. Hence, slow movements like these convey high status and mastery over oneself. You literally took control over an age-old instinct. And that, my friends, that is empowering. 
It's not about other people's perception of you, but about your own internal power. Before we get to the exercise, when in the future I say that something, slow movements for example, is a trait of high status individuals, I don't mean the term trait as in something that you are born with from a geneticist standpoint. Like the trait introversion versus extraversion. I mean it is a commonality that can be derived from studying many high status people and it is to a great extent something that can be trained and acquired. If you repeat an action long enough, it will become engraved in your brain as a habit within you. Keep doing this over and over and it becomes a personality trait. Now, just to clarify, I'm not saying human beings are infinitely malleable, but I do focus on the extent that we are. Which brings us to the exercise. So, what is the exercise you can instantly do to increase your non-reactiveness? I read this in a book somewhere. Here's what you do. Turn on a YouTube video and mute the sound. Place a bottle of water behind it and focus on it. You will instinctively look at the movement of the screen. When it happens, don't beat yourself up for it. Just turn back to the exercise and try it a little longer. Now, when you can do this for three full minutes, you will notice the non-reactiveness in your everyday lives. That response time between stimulus and a reaction has increased that. There is another exercise for this that I use, which is a little harder, and I will mention in another video. Friends, I need your advice on something, and here are three options. Would you like me to keep the videos, one, in these long formats, two, break them up in parts, or three, shorten them, keep them more to the point and providing less information? Leave a comment on which of these have your preference. The second thing is you get to choose which body language video I will do next. A, six, quote-unquote traits of a high-status walk, B, a scene from James Bond, or C, another Peaky Blinders video. Let me know below. And friends, like the Phoenix, may you have a controlled ego death and arise from the ashes as the person you wish to become.